Hello all, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an X returns reading for all my Libras out there. So this is an X return uh, reading for all my Libras out there for July 2019. Without any further ado, let's jump right in. Oh, some Rising Venus Jupiter, show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see for all of my Libras out there for July 2019. Show me cards I need to see for all my Libras out there for July 2019. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see for all my Libras out there for July 2019. Okay, let's begin. So, right off the bat here, you have a temperance card. Temperance means there's really not, uh, you're, look, you're looking to have some balance in your life. Whenever you get the temperance card, the, temp the temperance card represents the lack of balance. So, you, you're looking for uh, an equal balance, possibly a work-life balance, relationship balance, etc., etc. So, whenever you get the temperance card that always means there needs to be moderation there needs to be balance so that's what's going on with you right now and you got the ten of wands so something is burdening you something is burdening something is a bur it's like it seems like it's, it's it's a burden to get things to get things in, in balance in your life and funny enough, this, this Ten of Wands here, the burden in your life, seems to be the lovers. The twin soul flame connection there. That's what the burden seems to be. Um, you know, you, you definitely, you def, there's definitely a connection between you two. Definitely there's a connection. But it's burdensome. There's, no, there's really not an equal give and take. There's really not an equal give and take going on here. So this person definitely is... Potentially a twin soul flame connection for sure. But there seems to be um, this lack of, 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 of balance between you two. You're, you feel like you're giving more than you're receiving and, and it's burdensome to you. And you really don't know what to do about it. Um, uh, you've uh, you got your seven, seven of pentacles here. So you've, like I said, you know, just pretty much harping down on what I am saying. You know, you you put it out there, and you know, the Seven of Pentacles uh, represents. You put it out there, and now you just gotta wait and see. So now you're playing the waiting game. You're waiting to see if this relationship really is gonna bear the kind of fruit that you feel like it's going to. So that's where you're at right now. Now, there is the potential here <clears throat> for um, Ten of Cups. For a long term uh, long term potential happiness and fulfillment here absolutely there absolutely is the potential here uh, for a long term relationship and commitment but um, you know you, you, you like I said you've invested your time and now, you, now you're just kind of playing the waiting game so you're 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 not off of what you're thinking you're you're on the right path here um, you know, they may have some stuff going on in their life that you don't know about. Let's let's get a little bit of clarification on this seven of pentacles here. Just just uh, just to quantify a suspicion. I may be wrong, but that's what the cards are for, right? Okay. Okay, so it looks like I'll be wrong, right? We got the King of Swords here. So, um, it, it, it seems like this very strong, a very, very, this looks, it looks to be, um, it looks to be there, there's an air sign individual here that's wise, uh, making wise choices, an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, uh, or Aquarius. So, there's, definitely, there's an air sign individual here that you're dealing with. Um, and all, but I'm also seeing a queen of wands energy too. That's a fire sign individual here. So, uh, and that is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So, 
there may be some other factors here. No, I wasn't wrong, actually. No, I wasn't wrong. I was right. There are other factors here uh, that are playing into this. Um, sometimes I like to speculate before I lay down all of the cards and, you know. So, in this case, my speculation was correct. But it, but the, 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 the reason why, um, you know, your, 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 your current relationship, maybe it's not uh, um, bearing a fruit that you may want it to at the moment. Because there's, there's other factors involved. There's other players involved here, other people um, that may be having some kind of influence uh, on your uh, potential partner here. That's, that's what's going on here. Um, it's, a, it's an air sign individual and a fire sign individual. Um, I don't know if they are showing interest in 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 in, uh, in, in who you're uh, currently being with. That's causing them to, to waver a little bit. Um, uh, they be they could be other other people, other uh, 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 that, uh, that other person's exes, um, presumably maybe influencing them in some kind of way. But um, that's definitely um, seems to be. Um, a blockage to your uh, situation for sure. Um, but here you got you got the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles, uh, Earth sign. It's an Earth sign energy, um, which is a, a Virgo, uh, a Taurus, or a Capricorn, and um, there are messages being sent here. There's definitely messages of some sort being sent here, uh, or that you're going to be receiving, or that you're sending out. So there's some type of messages here. Um, and with the Page of Pentacles, see how he's uh, that person is just kind of really taking and examining it, looking at it, observing it. That's what that's what Page of Pentacles do. They think they, they they take really good care. They're very observant. They try to make really good decisions. They're, it's it's a younger it's it's a younger mindset of energy, but it's it's like um um wise youth. And so there are messages definitely being sent here. Um and this pen and this and, and, and the messages being sent are really carefully uh worded messages um that are being sent here, either being sent by you or you're either receiving these messages. And they're ver worded very, very, uh, um, very, very carefully, uh, very nurturing, nurturing messages being sent here. Um, so it looks like, you know, um, there's other outside influences that are possibly interfering with this particular situation. Or not so much interfering, maybe it's too strong of a word. Um, maybe causing things to maybe move a little bit slower than you would like them to. Um, uh, but but your feelings about this individual are dead on accurate. Absolutely. Uh, this is a twin soul flame connection for you. Um, uh, they just, they just, they're just working through a few things here. I don't see anything that's going to pretty much uh, uh, knock this thing off the tracks here. But that's what's going on. So let's see what's going on with your ass here. <clears throat> summarizing me is cheaper, summarizing me is cheaper. Show me cards I need to see, show me cards I need to see. July Okay, so you got the Three of Pentacles. Your ex has the Three of Pentacles here, which means they are working in partnership in conjunction with someone uh, that they work with, uh, partnerships. Uh, they may look like there's possibly, uh, possibly some romantic interest there with someone that they work with or they're doing a project with. Um, doesn't really appear to be too serious. Not really, but there's definitely uh, it's a good working relationship there. Got the nine of cups here, which says that you know uh, things are working the way that they want them to. That's for sure. 
all of their wishes are going to be all of their wishes are going to be fulfilled at least in the department of a good working relationship with this individual that they are currently um, currently in, 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 in engaged with here so that's so that's that's you know they got a good working relationship with that individual all their wishes are being fulfilled as far as the work aspect of it goes but you got the five of swords here and that says to me that they're wondering if they should stand and fight to take it a little bit further or if they should just walk away from that because they have such a good thing going with their uh, with their work relationship with this individual, they don't know if they want to mess that up. So they don't. They really don't know if they want to. In other words, they don't know if they want to combine uh, a work and a relationship at the same time, which is pretty smart when you think about it. So in some 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 cases, so um, you don't want to crap where you eat, so to speak. So that's what we're, that's what they're that's what's on their mind right now. Um, so. Um, and and um, again, they uh, got the they got the page of pentacles here, as well. So there are messages being sent to this individual, uh, as well that they work with. Um, and again, they're very carefully worded messages, compassionate, really really thoughtful messages. Either they're they're sending to that individual or they're receiving. And so. That's what's going on. It's, 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 it's a really slow, methodical process. That's why they're thinking to themselves, you know, should I complicate things here by, you know, trying to take this to the next level or should I just kind of let this thing be because we have such a good working relationship. Um, and there's also, there's a, definitely a third party involved here too. So there are, there's definitely some options out there. You know, it's kind of like, you know, they're looking on the horizon, kind of like uh, waiting for their ships to come in. Waiting to see what else comes in on the horizon. So again, they're not really they're not really committed to this situation so much as they're just kind of waiting to see what happens. They got a couple of fellows out there, and they're going to pretty much try and pretty much see what's what's going to what's going to come over the horizon. There, we have a King of Cups here, which is a water sign individual, which is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, and you know that looks to be a very uh, that looks to be somebody that's coming into their orbit there that they that has interest in them or either they have interest in so that's why i said there's a third party involved here it's the person that they work with but there's also another individual and it's just kind of like i said they're kind of just like they got the they got the fills out there they're waiting for their ships to come in and see exactly how things are going to transpire so let's see what the chances of your ex returning are some rising Venus Jupiter, some rising Venus Jupiter, show me cards I need to see, show me cards I need to see. <clears throat> oh wow, okay, that one is a pop out there, two of those. Let's get these bad boys out there. So, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Things are turning, definitely turning in the favor of your ex returning, for sure. Uh, it looks like that there's definitely a, a high probability that your ex will definitely be returning, for sure. Uh, and also along with that, you got the Two of Pentacles here. So that Two of Pentacles, that's, a, that's another, you know, that's another um, good card to get. They're going to, again... This, this work-life balance thing. This work-life balance thing here. <clears throat> and that's a gift, you know, so, again, you got that work-life balance thing going on there. And it's just like, okay, cool. So, um, you know, again, they're trying to juggle work and relationships. So, right now, they're, they're in this balancing act here. And it looks like it's a high probability that they will <clears throat> be coming back on the scene again now. Finally, we have the strength card here. Uh, a, a bit of courage and strength. So, um, uh, it's going to take a little bit of a um, little bit of courage on their part to come back into into uh, come back into your relationship. So that that that's what that looks like. It's, it, it's going to take a little bit of courage on their part, uh, inner strength, to really come back on the scene again. Um, they're a little, they're a little tepid. They're a little tepid. 
about coming about coming back, maybe sending you know sending signs of communication, so forth. But it looks like they're gonna they're gonna do it nevertheless. Um, so that's so that's that's a pretty interesting sign. Let's see here. Um, if before I shut this thing down, if spirits have any additional information that they want to give to you guys. So rising Venus Jupiter, Sun rising Venus Jupiter, show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. For all. Before I shut this down, if there are all any kind of information that you want to give. Pretty interesting unity. So, um, spirits train saying that you know, whatever you do, and then again, this energy is for this. This energy is for you. Work together with the individual that you're with. Do it together. Unity, doing things together seems to be the key here. Doing more things together, spending more time together. That seems to be this overall theme here of, of, of unity. Coming together, doing things together. Um, being one, if you will, with the individual. And I don't know if you guys ever, um, um, I've, I've experienced true love one time in my life. And it was it was uh, it was like I was one with that individual. It was it was crazy, you know. I mean, you know, um, again, there is a big big difference between sex and love. When you make love to somebody, it's like you're moving in unison with that individual. Um, it's a crazy, euphoric, almost spiritual experience. Uh, and so, to me, this is what this. Spirit is trying to say, move in unison, be one with this individual. Also, dependability. Dependability. <clears throat> you want to be dependable and you want the other person to be able to depend on you. Again, that's the, that's the true makings of a true uh, relationship, a really deep relationship. Um... Working together, hanging out together, being together, uh, to being able to depend on each other. Um, you know, <clears throat> um, there, there are cases where, you know, one person speaks and the other person can finish their sentence. That type of thing. Like, really being in unison with that individual. Really true love. Um, and sometimes good things are worth fighting for. Or waiting for, in other words. You, you got to wait. It just looks like you're doing some waiting, but that's okay. They got some things to work out, but spirit seems to be saying unity here is very, very important. Dependability. And also, finally, we have heat. And that is, again, love, passion, um, and aspects of heat. A, a really internal, internal fire encompassing the both of you. So, <clears throat> that seems to be the overall theme here, is unity, dependability, heat, all of those things together, being one with the individual. Um, that may be something that you may want to work on and think about here. It definitely seems to be the overall theme uh, of this particular reading. So, um, hopefully this resonated with you. If it didn't, please feel free to get a personal reading from me. I'll leave, I'll leave all the information below. Um... Make sure also you, you subscribe right there. Um, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. Again, my name is Adonis, and thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.